Hi guys, welcome to this playthrough demo video of the PRS Swamp Pass Special Narrow Field 25th anniversary. I thought it was high time that I did a video of this great sounding guitar. Uh, the main difference between this one and the earlier uh, specials is of course the pickup configuration they used to have, you know, the maple neck and everything, but had a hum, single hum configuration. Now we have the the narrow field specials, which are pretty much like the PAF pickups, the 5708s and the McCarthy I did in the earlier video, but with less turns of the wire, same wire though, and but sensing a smaller space of string, so getting a much more punchy single coil type character to it. But can, you know, when distorted, you can really manipulate the way it responds like a single coil or a humbucker by the way you fiddle with the knobs basically. So I'm going to try to show that a little bit as well. Uh, first of all, then let's just go, go through the pickup positions with some, you know, straight up clean tones. So here's the bridge pickup. So here it's sort of a fatter, kind of almost P90-ish kind of clean tone. Tom 
tons of stuff to play around with. So, with that done, you know, just a quick run through the clean tones, which are really, you know, excelling in this uh, setup. And then you have to manipulate it to your own style, of course. I mean, if you're a country player, you might want to, you know, try the in between bridge and middle position, roll down on both the volume and tone, you know, a little bit. <laughs> But there are some great, you know, snap. Great punchy, snappy kind of synth chorus tones. I don't counterplay, but you get a general idea. With that said, let's move on to the fun stuff, the distortion. Okay, so we're back with a little bit more gain on tap this time. So let's check out the bridge position, full volume, full tone. Thank you. 
And you know, just by rolling down the tone control, you get this really fat. just to get an idea of the tones and what I do recommend is that you really try to fiddle around regardless if you have this the narrow field special or the studio which has the 5708 and the two narrow fields you know equally good setup uh, to try and fiddle a lot with the volume controls because the narrow fields in particular are really responsive to that and if you have this 5708 in the bridge I mean fine you have a really great PAF type humbucking sound that is complemented well with these but what you might get if you put these up too high close to the strings you might get, get them sort of over punching the 5708 which is a more regular humbucking sound and not have, doesn't have that you know, oomph in the mid range that these pickups have on full blast so I mean you know you have to just be aware that you don't push these too close to pickups and the humbucker too far down you know, balance it out not just you know level wise but also how the characteristics of the pickups respond when you're playing so I mean just you know go out and try one I like it at least <laughs> 